In the previous unit, we created the meteorologic model for our Cedar Creek watershed. In this unit, we are going to create a control specification file or a control specification model. A control specification model basically defines the time step that we want to use to simulate the hydrology of a watershed and then it also defines the duration on how long we want to run the simulation. So let's go ahead and create a control specification file for Cedar Creek. To create a control specification model, we will go to components control specification manager and say new. So control one, we will leave the name unchanged and then we'll just provide some description. So the description is simulation of 2005 February event in Cedar Creek and say create. And after you see control one here, close the control specification manager and then you will see another folder called control specification added to the watershed explorer so click on the plus sign next to it and you will see control one so we see the descriptions so for start date we know when the rainfall started so we will use the same date which is 21st of february 2005 we know at what time the rainfall started so it started at 1 a.m so we will use the same time now end date we want to use a end date and time which is long enough so the simulation run completely and we get a complete hydrograph so that is one way to figure out what end date and time you want to use in our case we also have the hydrograph data for that event and you will see that the hydrograph ended at 6 a.m on 25th of february 2005 so if you want we can use this as our end date and time or we can use two or three days for the simulation to run so just to be consistent with the hydrograph data we have we can use this in date and time so let's go ahead and use that so we have 25th of february 6 a.m so end date is 25th of february 2005 and end time is 6 a.m and the time interval that we are going to use is 10 minutes and save after we create the control specification file now we are ready to run the simulation to run the simulation we go to compute and create compute and simulation run so there are multiple options here we will explore those later so for the first simulation we will use the simulation run option by default, it will give a name run one, which is fine. After that, it will ask you what basin model we want to use. We have only one basin model. We will pick that. Next, it will ask you what meteorologic model. We have only one. After that, it will ask you what control specification file. We have only one. Say finish. After that is done, there are multiple ways to run the simulation. So the first option is, in the watershed explorer you go to compute and then you will see the simulation run folder you can click on run one and then you can use this button that says compute all elements that is one way to run the simulation the other way is you go to compute menu and then say compute run run one so let's go ahead and just push this button here and then say close after you run the simulation or during the execution if you see any red warning you want to address that if you don't see any red warning 
uh, all you have are some messages then you don't need to worry about those say close and this is how you run the simulation in the next unit we will explore how to look at the results and also link the observed hydrograph to the simulated output so this is it for this unit so go ahead and save your project